collectors and gift givers, here's a My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide. Today, we are taking a look at this giant Barbie fashion pack. Tamed Mini on Instagram introduced me to this set. Priced at $39.99 on Amazon, we get eight complete outfits, over 25 pieces, including shoes and accessories. On the back of the box, there is an illustration of the dolls wearing the fashion, giving us some ideas on how we might want to mix and match the pieces. And there's something for the guys too. Let's get everything out of the box for a closer look. Let's bring out Minnie Toya's closet. Looks like she's already dreaming about those new clothes. You know it! I'm just gonna take all of these over to the dressing room. I'll be right back. First up, we have this gold polka dot dress. Well, it's actually two pieces. The top has ribbon straps and two bows. It velcros in the back. The skirt stops about mid shin and has a black elastic waistband. And we paired it with the included gold shoes. This could be a cute little birthday dress. What do you think? It is one size fits most, so it can fit curvy Barbies. The skirt just sits a little higher. Here we have a purple floral dress with sheer puff sleeves that have the same floral print. It Velcros in the back. We paired it with some chunky black boots and a soft blue purse. I'm usually not a huge floral print fan, but I kind of like this. I don't know, maybe it's the combination of floral print and chunky boots. But I could rock this, and it looks great on curvy Barbies. But we might have to find some more shoes. I was real excited about this rainbow dress. It has a cool, colorful checker pattern. Since it's one size fits all, it is a little loose on our original Barbies. But the pattern does go all the way around. It has pink stitching on the edges and two slits on the sides. Oops, lost a shoe. I really like these little yellow sandals. They just don't want to stay on. But for the curvy Barbies, they're just right. So it's good to know this fashion pack comes with shoes and different sizes. Ah, and look at that. The dress looks great on the curvies. Aw, Mini Toya, look at you! When I first saw this dress in the package, I was like, no way, this is gonna look great on the originals. It's definitely for the curvies. But it looks good on the original bodies. There is a little room in it, but I don't mind because it was sewn to contour to the body. It's a faux denim dress with hearts and stitched details, a sweetheart neckline, and puff sleeves. We paired it with the included gold necklace and peach shoes. This one's definitely a keeper, and it's a perfect fit on the curvy Barbie. However, for the shoes, that's a no-go. But a curvy is wearing them there, so I guess we don't take the picture on the back literally. This is our next outfit, and it looks like Ken is wearing some green shoes. That picture looks a lot like fashionista number 164. Who is a broadkin? Eh, it's a little snug, but it does fit a made to move kin with the classic body type. Now, those green shoes fit our curvy Barbies. The shorts are a little snug on the curvies, but they can fit the whole ensemble. This outfit has a purple and black animal print with white stitching. There is a little collar, it velcros in the front and the shorts have a black elastic waistband. And we paired it with green glasses. Up next, we have an oversized blue t-shirt with a green ruffle with black trim at the top and a orange ruffle with black trim at the bottom. The ruffles are only in the front and it velcros in the back. We paired it with a hair clip that says boss girl and pink boots. 
I do believe these boots were sized for curvy dolls, but they do fit our original body types. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of ruffles. And here it is on our curvy. Okay, I can rock this. We have a green crop top shirt that says girl power with mesh sleeves, an off-white as in the color, sling bag, hot pink windbreaker pants with elastic at the waist and the ankles. And we finish the look with a pair of chunky white sneakers. I think we're getting some great pieces here. That sling bag looks just like the black one from the BMR 1959 collection. I love those chunky white shoes and those windbreaker pants are a must for me. And of course, it's a great look on the curvies as well. Oh, and I forgot to show you this little pink visor and bracelet that is also included. It totally goes perfect with this dress. Speaking of dresses, this is the last outfit in this fashion pack. It's a shiny dress that fades from silver to pink to green to purple. It's gathered in the front, has one shoulder, and a large ruffle down one side. For my taste, the ruffle is a little large. I might do a little customizing where we pull back the lower half. So I'm pulling the lower half of the ruffle around the back, and then we're just gonna do a little blind stitch to attach it to that back center seam to turn that large ruffle into more like a large ruffle sleeve. Then we paired it with a beaded purse and strappy silver shoes. I think this is an adorable party dress, perfect for like New Year's and maybe your birthday. However, I'm not sure if these alterations will allow the dress to fit a curvy. Yay! She can wear it! If you do plan to modify the dress, I would probably do the alterations on a curvy rather than a classic just to make sure everybody can fit it. But overall, I really like the way this turned out. I've been holding on to these fashion packs for a little while. In the mermaid themed one, I noticed that is the same purse. I bought all three of these for about $5 each at Target. It comes with a blue visor that says make a splash. It's a similar design as the pink one from the large fashion pack. However, it is a little different. There are blue platform sandals, a yellow star bracelet, purple seahorse necklace, a white beaded necklace, a pink starfish headband, a green starfish, pink popsicle, pink heart glasses, a blue shell bag, which I think is pretty cute, and of course, the beaded purse. This one reminds me of like a travel theme. We have yellow boots, which look like they have a little bit of color transfer, unfortunately. A pink hip bag with an animal print, a turquoise bracelet, gold colored sunglasses, a green tote bag with an animal print in pink and black, blue necklace, bottled water, a camera, sunblock, and a teddy bear, and a black hat. I really like the hat and the glasses. This last accessory pack gives a roller skating on the boardwalk kind of vibe. It comes with a green baseball cap with a rainbow, a purple heart rainbow purse. Unfortunately, the coloring on mine is a little faded at the top. There is also a keyboard purse, red star sunglasses, a purple headband, a yellow star necklace, a gold star necklace, a pink scrunchie, blue bracelet, a bright orangey colored cup with a straw, and pink and yellow roller skates. The wheels don't move, but it can be balanced to stand. There is definitely no shortage of beautiful colors here. My curvy doll can fit the yellow boots, but not the pink roller skates, but she can wear the blue platform sandals. But overall, the running pants and those white chunky shoes will definitely be added to my wardrobe. I really like this blue dress and this floral one. Thank you for joining us for this Barbie fashion haul. Let us know in the comments down below if these items are a buy or pass. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell 
and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time.